Hi there, sign of cancer. This is Kim with your reading. I'm going to pull a Celtic cross. This is a second time as a charm for your reading. So we'll see. I'm getting, and we'll see if this makes it through. The Enchanted Rock Tarot. That's what I'm using for your Celtic cross. I have shuffled quite a bit already. I was going to open up, like in the last one, I was going to open up with an oracle, but oh my God. It just got like it, more than more than the Celtic cross. Okay, I didn't even get a chance. It was so much. It was chaos. There was a secret. There was upgrading things, shielding, protecting yourself from what some maybe mean, judgmental people have to say. Okay, that all of that happened just from a few oracle. I was like, no, no, we need to start this over and just go right into. Celtic cross so I can see really what's going on first yeah there's chaos deception chaos deception it's uh, and and the oracle I was getting there was other people I probably just should have kept recording but I don't know I don't know I don't know Dun, 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 dun. Why? Two for the outcome? Oh. Okay. Oh, man. Wow. So there's like this energy, okay? There's these energies around you. They're connected to you through wealth, through family, through organization. The hit at your confidence or something's hitting at your confidence level. Perhaps the challenge is you're just not that confident in um, trusting because of this. And I don't know. Nah. Okay, well, we're going to have to, we're just going to have to keep going. The, the higher fun is in the reverse. Sometimes that can mean doing things in a very unconventional way. Not always a popular way but an unconventional way. But there are energies that know that you're trying to devise a plan without someone, without everybody else knowing. Like, and so they're already projecting. I'm kind of picking up on like, oh gosh, Kim, don't say that. Yeah, uh, well, my, okay. I'm picking up on energies that are really, um, smart, <clears throat> intellectual, stand something to lose if what you go after is successful. Stand for something, have something to lose. These are people that in my, now, I, I, of course I get metaphors, right? These are people that are like how you would describe reptilians. <laughs> I gotta go there because that's what I'm saying. Like people that can um, easily mind read, mind F, manipulate, really into their material possessions, really into them. And so there's a need to keep <laughs> something on the low, okay? It doesn't have to, like, be an actual, to, like, I'm not trying to go there. But how I'm tr what I'm trying to get us to see is, like, the embodiment of that energy of control, money, wealth, power, Feeling like mind reading, like um, causing ability to cause chaos. In a way, they kind of feed off of it. And then I have the past energy, three of air, upright. It's a rather dark reading, a rather dark reading. But this is you trying to keep a secret, trying to strategize. <clears throat> Tell me about three of air. The magician. Well, there's their strategy. I feel like, I don't know, there's something about, you know, I don't have much to lose because look at all I'd lost in the past. Look at how my heart was broke in the past. It's a very, it's a grim three of 
three of air, isn't it? I mean, there's one person definitely holding a knife, but there's others almost like they're cheering on that person. And then the person that's hurt, we're assuming is you. Seeing other people dance, other people will be in joy while you're here on the ground, sad. Hmm. Three, three. Okay, heart in the heart of the matter, you have the three of fire, which is like this vision that you see for how your heart feels, for your heart. But this expansion will be something you'd have to um, step into the role of being very vulnerable about or allowing yourself to be vulnerable. In a way, it already feels like your heart is so open that it has made you vulnerable. I'm not sure if you like that or not. Like somebody's read into the secret of your heart. Ace of Cups. seems like these two cards are saying yeah this is what you're manifesting the heart definitely is there's a connection um a strong connection and it, it is an opportunity like a gift from the universe of some some type of love thing loving beginning new beginning it makes you feel vulnerable but yet it's still connected to new alliances partnerships and expansion of the heart space so it's kind of interesting that like you know that but you know it's a that's kind of what I'm getting what's the challenge here with the strength in the reverse ten of wands hmm caring a lot for others it is hard to have strength when you have when you've been um, exerting so much of yourself so much um physical demand mental demand like it's it's a demand from the body to keep persisting persisting you're like, like doing all that you can but you're also taking on more for others and the challenge is, is hey you're gonna run out of this power in the sense that you'll be exhausted and tired um if you don't watch yourself and there's a sun feel like these people are watching all the time monitoring <clears throat> tell me about the ten of earth like a council of some sort four of swords yeah there's this feeling of somebody really only like of energies they're here are trying to be after the the money the material side of things and there's need to take a time out a rest a break from these energies pray maybe okay work is showing up pray <clears throat> Why is the nine of earth in the reverse? Why are we getting both both of those in the reverse? Because this group, okay, well, I'm, we're not on the, I'm not on the wrong page here. Is this group, they're really just no good for you. This group is no good for you. They don't put in the effort as much as you do, but yet they want a big chunk or a big share of what you have. That's, what I'm, that's really what I'm feeling with this these energies. Oh, and so because they feel like they have a chunk or something like that or have claim to that because they're always watching I don't know what this is I don't know if this is monitoring spirits or if these are actual people but you have to shake this energy off what's the page of fire how you're feeling it's how you're feeling like, whatever you had been, have been doing, whatever direction you've been going in, it's ultra slow and delayed. 
I don't think you're too happy about that. So instead of doing the same old, same old, what in the past has been tried, true, and tested, you're wanting to go with something new with the page of fire. <laughs> that represents news of new passionate beginnings. After you release these toxic people and these toxic old ways of doing things, <laughs> tell me about um, the Elder of Water. Yeah, Nine of Cups. Once you follow your heart space, you'd be diplomatic, but you're like put your feels like um, putting your foot down to the, these, see how it's pointing, like, to these energies, putting your foot down and saying, no, um, I am a wow, like, you're in the position, I can have everything I want, and this is what I want, and so it's an unexpected journey of making decisions based from your heart, which might be something a little bit different, um, also, it's a, like, real Zen master, mastering the mood, tell me about the chariot in reverse, Okay, so the chariot in reverse can be like a, a person that's always having to look back. So it's not like you're not moving forward at all, right? But you may be having to look back, always kind of be very defensive. Could be over a queen of cups energy or somebody that would be like your um, match. I'm not sure if that's for everybody, but it is an underlying issue here. Or it's talking about those ways in which when we focus on our health, we're no longer held back by um, issues that we would have if we weren't completely focused on self-love and health. And so the end of you always having to be, um, this closing chapter is the end, the death card, a trans, uh, transformation where you don't have to always be <clears throat> on the defensive so much. That the end of, of people stopping your movement or the end of any kind of health concern or something like that. But the end of something holding you back for sure. All right. Queen of Earth, reverse. <laughs> Eight of Water in the reverse. For some, this is like a very um, overbearing motherly energy that's not actually that compassionate. Kind of more concerned about themselves. And there's a fear of leaving something behind, but it also involves like their dysfunction or their opinions that don't, um, that aren't actually grounded in, in solid reality, but just to their own reality. It's a little narcissistic, a little bit that is what I'm eating. And there's a, that, that there's an attachment here. I have a really strong attachment. It doesn't have to be a mother exactly, but it's somebody that is, um, it's somebody that you're over, over it, right? There's just this fear because there's so much emotional attachment of, of not listening to what they have to say. But you need to stand in your truth. Justice will prevail. And high level soul contracts, truth and balance will come. Tell me a little bit more about justice here. Libra energy. Marriage and relationships possibly. But good news. Eight of Wands. And collaboration. Three, three, three. Powerful number. Working together. People. A mirroring energy here too. It's like one door closes. It, this could be. Um, it could have been somebody's other significant other that um they're breaking from breaking a commitment from this queen of pentacles and then something more pleasing or more lined up more balanced to your truth a wish granted wishes granted comes in for you okay tell me about the seven of air the kipper deck tell me about seven of air Distant horizons. In the distant horizons. 
So it's a secret about a plan that you're planning for the maybe not so distant horizons, but you know, it's a message that hasn't gotten out yet. There's a mature man. Whoa. Bad health. Focus on health. So that it could be something with health holding us back too. Or you haven't gotten a message yet that somebody's dealing with some health issues themselves. Bring oneself, especially from this taking energy that is just that in those connections that may even feel like family. And a gift. A gift. This is the journey to free yourself to sudden wealth. And it's also about being lucky. Jackpot is literally on the on the card. Something about a family coming together, making a family, increasing family. Occupation. The bear, the old version of you in the past. New hope. And then a benefactor energy or the bear where there's lots of gifts. Again, gift, gift. Capricorn had a lot of gifts <laughs> in their last message. And you have Capricorn energy really strong here. There's something about the love language of gifts. Oh, oh. Okay, and getting together. Garden. So there's something about you coming together, especially at Three Pentacle, with like like minded souls. This is um these are healthy friendships and healthy things being talked about. It's also healing by getting out in nature and healing. And Tower and Lenormand is what you can build. So the groundwork will be laid down. And you can build something solid, steady, that's gonna stand for a long time. And a great fortune is on the bottom. Okay, let's pull something from 108 and I'll probably wrap this up here cancer interesting message cat you could appear you could appear look at <laughs> the arms crossed at the arms crossed you could appear apathetic disinterested maybe there's this air of like very Speaking volumes of independence from you. Not my problem, unaffected. What I want, when I want. Calm and cool, disengaged. In the past, there's this broken base, which was something to overcome a setback, but it was temporary. And then I have the pioneer card. Boldness, destination, or bust, the cutting edge, long journey, trailblaze, true grit. And sometimes it takes that unbothered attitude to even get to this point, the pioneer. Resourceful team, unflappable courage. So that's what I've got for you. I'm sending you love. Bye.